Australia's Golden Fleece. For so long now, an outstanding factor in the Commonwealth's greatness. Yet, with all the wealth it has produced, there are still some who are slow to benefit from modern scientific development. Where would our wool check have been if we had not replaced hand shearing with the modern handpiece, comb and cutter? Even the diehards have had to throw away the hand shears and line up with the machine age. Gun shearers who can ring their 200 a day know the value of modern shearing machinery. Today, engineering firms make continual research to develop equipment that will assist the man on the land. So that he may keep abreast of the times and modernize his methods, the wheels of industry revolve unceasingly. Great machines turn out the component parts that will make the job of work easier for the grazier. Hundreds of skilled operators are employed the latest types of machines are used, all working to modernize primary industry and help build a nation's wealth. As with modern manufacturing methods, so too must rural industry become streamlined if it hopes to survive. Old-fashioned swim baths have served us well. But, as with the hand shears, we put aside our plungers as relics of the past. The sheep shower solves and simplifies one of the biggest problems in sheep handling and makes swim bath dipping obsolete. This method of sheep showering outdates all other methods. Sheep showering saves both time and labor. Less men are needed, yet the job can be done more quickly. Three men can easily handle 800 sheep in the hour. This speed is quite practical, even with old ewes, which are more difficult to handle than younger sheep. Because the shower pens are of narrow race design, there is no difficulty in filling each enclosure. No carrying, forcing, or pushing the sheep as with other methods. All the sheep do is walk in and walk out. Losses from injury are eliminated, particularly with ewes in lamb. Exhaustive tests have proven that each sheep is completely and uniformly saturated. The wash is distributed by top and bottom nozzles. The top nozzles give a fan-type spray. They operate with a punker action which allows the sheep plenty of breathing time. No more than 16 inches apart and ensure the complete wetting of the bellies, legs and all parts below the back. Both the top and bottom nozzles are non-clogging and operate simultaneously. After showering, the sheep are let out into specially constructed draining pens. They walk out as easily as they walk in just as you do at the taxation department, and feeling just as good. <clears throat> the platforms are constructed with a fall towards the well end. All the wash must run back into the well through the strainers. Dip is not wasted. The wash is used right down to the last gallon and does not become fouled with foreign matter or weakened in strength. Patent strainers make sure that clean dip is possible at all times. The dropping pit and strainers are designed to keep the droppings from breaking up in the strainer. This means perfect straining. The circular 500 gallon well for holding the wash is fitted with an agitator placed at the bottom of the well. With this type of sheep shower, the agitator is standard equipment. Thorough agitation and mixing are obtained at all times. Insoluble powder dip particles are always kept in suspension. The wash is pumped from the well to the nozzle by a two inch centrifugal pump. Specially designed for the purpose, this pump runs in ball bearings. No other pump can be substituted. 
The wash is quickly and easily diverted from nozzles to agitator and vice versa by quick-acting levers. A quarter turn does the trick. The well can be emptied simply by turning the lever to the required position. Instruction books issued with this equipment make it a simple matter for the practical man to install and erect a sheep shower himself. If desired, the manufacturers can arrange for contractors who specialize in the construction of this equipment. The job is done quickly and efficiently. The site selected should be as level as possible and preferably in a position where there's plenty of shade. The first job is to measure up the area and peg out the position for the shower platforms, the dropping pit and the well. When the position for the well is measured, digging can begin immediately. And if you have any muscular manpower handy, take a lesson in digging from this little chap. The excavated earth is thrown in a convenient position between the shower platforms. This earth will be used as a base for the platforms. To make the raised sides for the shower platforms, forming is placed in position on either side. Supports are driven in to hold the forming upright and it is checked for level. The excavated earth from the well is spread evenly over the platform area to raise the shower platform and provide the correct fall towards the well end. A layer of sand is spread over the earth and the platform is leveled off. The foundation must be strong, so a wire mesh is laid on top of the sand. This wire acts as a reinforcement and strengthens the concrete platform. To complete the foundation, a coarse concrete is spread evenly over the shower platform area. Hey, Dick. What's the hurry? When spreading the concrete, the fall towards the well end is maintained. The formings are tapped to settle the concrete inside them. When the platform area is fully concreted, it is evened off. To give the platform a clean, smooth finish, cement is spread over the coarse concrete and the platform is leveled off for the last time. These foundations are being laid for the double race sheep shower. With the first platform completed, the process is repeated for the other race and for the dropping pit and well. Here, the complete layout in concrete. The foundation for the dropping pit, baffle wall, pump stand and drain. The construction of the dropping pit and baffle wall which ensure that the wash passes through the dropping pit before returning to the well. With the well completed, the suction pipe is fitted into position. The framework for the enclosures is assembled separately and carried onto the platform area. The uprights are cemented into holes which are cast in the platform. This makes a strong, permanent job. The enclosures are completed by fitting sheets of galvanized iron to the sides of the uprights. The corrugated sheets are put on with the edges out to prevent the sheep from cutting themselves. The bottom nozzles are carried into place and both the top and bottom nozzles are connected to the pump and all other pipe connections made. A gate is placed on both ends of the shower enclosures and the shower assembly is completed. Single race units are constructed on exactly the same principle and make the small flock owner independent of outside help. 
He can do the job when and how he likes. He knows that his sheep are effectively treated and does not have to put his flock through dirty dips. Today, the man on the land is an engineer in his own right, using the latest equipment to increase production and improve his standards. A large part of Australia's future lies in her wool industry. The flock owner who adapts his property to the latest requirements is not only helping himself, he is proving that the modern wool industry of Australia still leads the world.